Hi, we're going to take a quick look at what the customer sees when you create the customer for the first time and invite them to the portal. It's a slightly different view and we'll walk them through filling in and updating all of their details for you. So we can do this from an appointment and we can double click and create a new customer and we can onboard them to the portal. Or we can simply go to create customer, create them manually and we have the option at the bottom to invite them to the portal software. So if I pop the email that I've just created in there and uh, pop some name details in there, the email, the pet name and the pet breed. And then we've got this ticked and we've got our contract that we've chosen here and we can click create. That customer has now been created and they'll be sent an invite to the portal for them to fill in. So if we hop over to the email inbox, we can see the welcome on board email and we can click to register ourselves. We can create our password we've got to accept the terms and conditions. This is the place where they will turn up your terms and conditions. Um, they can simply accept them, create the password, and then we can sign in. Uh, let's get our email. And pop the password that they've just created in. This will take us through a simple setup. So first thing we've got is the profile. So the customer can update their details, update their telephone number, enter how they heard, heard, for, heard about you. They can pop in their address. They can upload any files at this point as well. We can click to save and then we can click to the next screen and it's already created our pet with a pet name. So we can edit the pet and we can update their date of birth. They can update the color and they can update all of these additional fields, their medical details and their vet name. And then they can save that. And then we can go on to the next screen, which is the contract that we've created then they can click to sign it and it will show your branding, your logo. It'll have the title and then it'll have the body of text where they can scroll down and sign at the bottom to accept. And then they've completed their onboarding process.